going on guys? It's Trevor Blaze here, back again with another My Hero Academia character discussion video. Uh, today's video is, well, Meizo Soji, or the Tentacle Hero. Tentacle. Or Tentacle. One or the other. Either way, you yeah, say it really fast, it's still the same thing. Um, so, there's that. I just noticed that I needed to put the uh, quirk name for. All right. So, here we have it, guys. We have Meizo Soji. Obviously, like I said in Toru's video on Friday, um, Soji is like, he's pretty much my favorite character out of the side-ish characters. Um, Besides Toru, um, Soji's like on the borderline of, you know, he's he's pretty much shown what he can do. He's slowly climbing up the ranks of being a main character. He's like, he's, he's climbing. He, he, he's climbing, but, you know. So, Soji, you gotta give it to our duply armed friend here. So, here we go. I just gave away his quirk. So, let's just get right into the video. So, his quirk, doubly arms. Uh, his quirk allows him, allows the tips of his tentacles to replicate parts of his body. His mouth, his ears, his hands, his arm, and like another arm and all that. Um, you know. Uh, he can also use his tentacles to make duplicates of his body parts such as an extra arm and can use them as decoys, like I said. Uh, as a result, Soji is able to hear better, see through, see through more angles at, at a time, and even glide in the air, as shown in the sports festival race. So, not only was he able to glide in the air, but he also used that uh, technique um, in the forest training arc, or, yeah, the forest training arc when they were trying to get Bakugo and, uh, Tokoyami back from Mr. Compress, uh, it was all part of Deku's plan, really, to, you know, use Soji's quirk to, you know, glide, uh, them through the air. So, with this quirk, he has ability. He has the ability of enhanced strength, and his uh, he's shown to have great physical strength, as he was able to exert um, as much as 540 kilos of force during the quirk apprehension uh, test, and he was also to care. He was also able to carry both Su Suyu and Mineta on his back without any difficulty and I mean sure because one they both don't weigh that much they they're two of the shortest people in the class and they don't weigh that much so I I wouldn't expect Soji to have any difficulty carrying them around on his back um, so there's that <laughs> um, now Onto the battles that he has uh, been in, he has been in. Um, he was teamed up with Shoto with as Team B uh, versus Ojiro and Toru, which is Team I, which I said in Toru's video. And Toru and Ojiro lost that battle, but Soji and Shoto won that battle because, well, you know, Shoto froze everything. Um, and Shoji really didn't do anything in that battle trial arc at all. He didn't really do anything. He just stood there and waited. <laughs> um, so, there is that, but let's get on to his stats now, shall we? Um, I'm kind of flying through this video a little bit here, but, you know, Soji, I like him more than everybody else, so I should be talking about him more, but, you know, I'm still trying to get through this video as... I, I, I wouldn't really say as fast as possible, but it's just the way that this is going. So, his stats here are 
power is a 5 out of 5, his speed is a 2 out of 5, his technique is a 4 out of 5, his intelligence is a 3 out of 5, and his cooperativeness is a 4 out of 5. Now, with that being said, obviously, you know, his power is a 5 out of 5 because of his quirk giving him the ability to have an and strength. So he shows a lot of strength potential, which is pretty cool. He is not only one of the strongest characters, he is really pretty much up there, actually, with physical strength as being strong, you know, and I'm not talking about, like, the strongest as in, you know, power-wise, I'm talking about as in, you know, physical strength, um, so, there's that. His speed, obviously, is gonna be a 2 out of 5 because he's pretty big, and also he, his quirk is mostly used for duplicating, you know, different body parts so it's and that probably like weighs him down a bit so his speed is fair fair I mean it's fair being a two out of five at least it's not a one out of five so he's like really 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 freakishly slow but he's he can still move a decent amount um his technique and cooperativeness are four out of fives so pretty much Shoji He's teamed up with somebody, he was teamed up with Shoto, he worked well with him, even though Shoto did most of the work. He was teamed up with uh, Mineta and Suyu in the cavalry battle of the sports fest. He worked well with them. Um, Soji was with Shoto and Deku trying to get Bakugo and Tokoyami back from Mr. Compress in the sport, in the, uh, well, I was about to say sports fest, in the forest training arc. Uh, and so they all worked together. Uh, they did a decent job, I guess. Um, and you know, his uh, technique, well, that kind of goes hand in hand with him having enhanced strength because you know, it, it boosts, boosts stuff. So there's that. Uh, his intelligence, you know, he's he is pretty smart. Um, he has ranked pretty high, I'm pretty sure. Let me see if, uh, where is this placed? Yeah, he... No. He is... Yeah, he's 10th. He's 10th in the Class 1A's grades. So he has some of... Or he is in the top 10 smartest people in the class. So... Although... Yeah. Yeah. That's... Not only is, like, Soji's quirk, like, unique as well. Like, I mean, it, you get to duplicate some of your body parts. It's kind of weird, though. He looks like a... Six arm, like, is it six arm? I'm pretty sure it's six arms. Yeah, it's six arms. Well, it's like two hands and then like just extra like, you know, nubs because he can, you know, use his quirk to do that. But that, it's, it's a really cool design and one of uh, the little personal notes that I do in the description, I'm just going to talk about it a little bit here. Uh, Horikoshi actually said... Um, that he considers it fun to draw Shoji because of him having, you know, less human-like features. So it, it's kind of fun to see what, uh, like, um, Horikoshi thinks of his own drawings. So, um, I will probably be talking a lot more about what's in the description, uh, from here on out, actually, probably. Maybe in the top ten-ish range because I have a couple more videos to do um, for this week of being uploaded on Wednesday and Friday which is going to be Ida and Suyu so look out for those videos on Wednesday and Friday um, so I'm kind of spoiling the next video for you guys but that is okay you guys can uh enjoy the wait um because i'm trying to upload more i guess on you know during the week or whatever so we will be having um monday wednesday and friday schedules for uh th this month and um partially into next month i would say um so there is that so hopefully you guys will enjoy that um so 
now let me get on to the last bit of this video, which is Shoji's relationships with his classmates. Now, Shoji actually has four relationships with his classmates, um, which um, I was kind of odd seeing this one, but it does make sense though because he was teamed up with them. So, one of Soji's relationships is with Minoru Mineta, and Mineta admires Soji uh, for his octopus appearance and tall height. Uh, he was also teamed up with him in the cavalry battle along with Suyu, um, and they were shown to work well as a team despite not advancing to the next round, also because, well, Shoto froze everything. Actually, he sh I'm pretty sure Shoto froze, like, almost every other person in the cavalry battle. The only ones that were still moving were Bakugo's group, Deku's group, uh, Monoma's group, and I'm pretty sure there was like one other group or whatever, and then Shoto's group. So yeah, there was not that many people still moving around. Um, the uh, During the fight between uh, Deku and Shoto at the Sports Fest tournament event, Shoji prevents Mineta from being blown away. That does make sense because that fight was actually one of the best fights I've ever seen. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the next one and is who I really think is like Shoji's best friend in the class is Fumekage Tokoyami. Soji is on good terms with Tokoyami. Uh, during the training camp, he and, Tokoyami, he and Tokoyami were attacked by Moonfish. Um, and Soji prevented Tokoyami, uh, but lost an arm in the process. Uh, angered that Soji sacrificed a limb just to save him, Tokoyami enraged uh, by his in competence and the influence of the knight's darkness lost control of dark shadow which caused him to harm shoji as well um shoji resolved to save tokoyami alongside deku at, uh which they eventually succeeded and tokoyami felt regret from for harming soji and apologized to him and shoji showed no ill will towards tokoyami thus you know, he is uh, still on good terms with, with Tokoyami, so they're they're on good terms with each other. Which, I kind of don't like how on the wiki it says that they're on good terms. I like to say that they're best friends, because they're always seen together, and sometimes they're paired up to each other uh, with each other, and especially with the forest training arc. That deepened their friendship, because Shoji showed no ill will towards Tokoyami. Also because, you know, he knew that Tokoyami can lose control of Dark Shadow in the nighttime. So there's that. Also, he literally resolved Tokoyami's, you know, feet by saving him. By leading him towards Bakugo and Shoto and, you know, getting them to do that. So he's, you know, showing what a true friend is. Uh, so... There's that. Uh, his next friendship is with Izuku Midoriya. I keep calling him Deku because, you know, it's shorter and, you know, everybody, almost everybody calls him Deku by now. So, yeah. Uh, the two are on good terms and have respect for each other, which I find that that is actually pretty cool to know because it, it seems that, yes, everybody in the class are friends, some are more acquaintances than friends. Some of them are best friends. Some of them have little groups together. Like all the girls hang out. Some of the guys hang out uh, as well. And then there's like the mixed groups. Like, you know, some of the guys hang out with the girls. And some of the girls hang out with some of the other guys. And, you know, it's it's fun to see, really. It's, it's the slice of life part of My Hero. Which is a good part to see. Which is what I like. Um... And Shoji saved Deku twice during the school trip. First from, you know, the rampaging Dark Shadow Tokoyami. And then from Himiko Toga. 
um, and Shoji trusts Deku uh, as he is willing to lead the out of control Dark Shadow towards where Shoto and Bakugo were despite the danger it placed him in which obviously you know that shows some courage and it also you know ties back into his relationship with Tokoyami um Shoji also carried and injured Deku throughout the attack during the training camp despite their efforts they failed to save Bakugo resulting in Deku breaking down along with Tokoyami so uh Shoji tried to comfort Deku on their loss after he visited Deku in the hospital with, uh, later, he visited Deku in the hospital with the rest of the class. So, technically everybody, you know, you can't really say. I'm pretty sure that once I do Deku's video, that's probably gonna, once I get to the, actually, once I get to the top 10-ish, that's where these videos are gonna be a little bit longer. Um, I kind of think Ida's will be a little bit longer, and that's the next one. I think... That one will be a little bit longer due to his time in the versus hero killer arc but i will get more into that with his video um so there's that also i am not done yet with actually i said he has four re uh friendship relationship things and classmates i meant five soji actually has five i miscounted uh so yeah let me get back into this and then i'll talk about more about that so his next one is with Shoto Todoroki. Uh, they were on good terms and they worked well together. They were partnered up with each other in the battle trial arc. And uh, Shoji and Shoto along with Deku worked together during the training camp in order to save Bakugo and Tokoyami. Which I did talk about this a little bit earlier. But yes, that was a good scene to see we not really seen Soji team up with some of our main cast characters such as Shoto and Deku because they are main cast characters so it was kind of cool to see some of our other like supported supported cast ish come up into the main cast area main cast area and you know do some work I guess you could say um and then his last one is with Toru Hagakure. They teamed up. Uh, they appeared to be on good teams. They worked well um, as a team. They were paired up against Snipe during the final exam. Which yeah, I said this in Toru's video. Uh, they showed trust between each other. And Shoji was willing to expose himself to Snipe. In order for Toru to sneak behind and capture Snipe resulting in them passing the final exam now with that one pretty much everybody passed the exam here focus camera come on come on focus focus there we go okay so pretty much this one is pretty easy because well they teamed up for the final exam a lot of and what i thought was kind of cool with the final exam though was not only did they just go up against the teachers but they paired up some of the care some of the cast that you wouldn't expect would team up with each other like for Aoyama and Oraka you would have never never ever have seen that coming Tokoyami and Suyu they both one has a frog quirk and one literally looks like a bird they put two animals together, is what I'm saying. Um, you have uh, Deku and Bakugo. Would not have seen that one coming at all. <laughs> like, I mean, I kind of did. I was kind of expecting it, really, because you know they they're not really on good terms. But now they're they're right now in the manga, they're kind of getting there. But you know, there's that. Whoops! Spoilers. But. That's actually to be seen pretty soon, actually, in the anime, so I'm not too worried about spoiling that part. But I didn't really say what happened between them, but we'll get there when we get there. So, yes, this has been Meizo Shoji's 
video character discussion. Um, obviously, he is what is he my thirteenth favorite character. So he's on the borderline-ish of from the main characters towards the supported cast characters, which I think is a good spot for him because that's technically where he's at right now, um, especially with the forest training arc and all that because, you know, he did some work in the forest training towards the, can't really say hideout raid arc because he wasn't really involved in that, but, you know, it, the events leading up to that is where is what I'm getting at. Plus, um, you know, he's he's a cool character to begin with, really. Um, so, am I expecting more from Shoji? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, so, I guess, since I've been rambling on for a little bit now, um, this has actually kind of been around for some of my... some of my longest like discussions of this but that is to be expected so here we go guys what are your thoughts about Shoji do you guys like him is he your favorite character leave it in the comments below also if you do like this video then please hit that like button also if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell and yes I know, I said it in this video, and I didn't say it in Toro's video, but that is because of my outro. So yeah, I don't really, I'm gonna, I might do this outro thingy, or I might just let you watch my outro, and you can, you know, do what it says. So, that is it guys, I'm Trevor Plays, and uh, I'll see you guys in another My Hero Academia character discussion. Bye guys, see you next time. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.